all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So I bought this PlayStation 5 for my boyfriend as a Christmas gift last Christmas. And I wanted to get him one so badly because he'd never had a PlayStation before and I knew that there were a lot of games that he wanted to try. So I literally spent like a month, had all my Twitter notifications on for like this Twitter page that told you when they become available because these things are impossible to get a hold of. But I was like, I'm determined. When I get an idea in my head, I am determined, I'm stubborn. And luckily I managed to get him one just in time for Christmas. And I really wanted to get it for him because he just deserves it so much. He's such a hard worker and he does so much for me and he just deserves the entire world. But since I couldn't buy him the world, I bought him a PlayStation. <laughs> so he watches all of my content. And because of that, he also gets recommended content of channels that make similar content to me. So other crafty channels, creative channels. And he got recommended the Nerd Forge video where she completely decked out her PlayStation and it looked unbelievable. Like she is like one of the most talented and skilled people I've ever seen. So he saw that and he texts me and he was like, hey, have you ever thought about, you know, painting a PlayStation for a video? You can use mine if you want. And I was like, but you know how clumsy I am, right? I'm so grateful that he trusts me so much. I have removed every water cup within a one mile radius from this thing. So I'm gonna do my best to keep it very safe. And I'm gonna fully paint one side of it today. If you'd like to see a part two where I paint the other side, thumbs the video up, let me know in a comment. And if you wanna see the part two, make sure you're subscribed because you can be notified of when I upload the second part. I think I can pull the panels off, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or if I'm just gonna lie it flat and then tape it all up. I'm gonna go ahead and do some digital painting on my iPad first of all to kind of pre-plan how I'm going to make the art on this. And I think it's about time we get started and let's get started. I just said that. Okay, so starting off, I wanted to know if I could actually take these panels off or not. I watched a video, exhibit A. I was really worried that I was gonna break it, but it was actually luckily pretty easy in the end. Now to take the expensive part away from myself. So because it's curved, if I were to paint on it like this, it'll just keep rocking back and forth, which is both annoying and impractical. So I got some air dry Sculpey and I just put a giant ball of it underneath the two corners that were kind of like floating in the air. So now I'm going to do a quick sketch on a photo of the panel on my iPad so I can kind of figure out the best way to proportion it all. As you can see, my screen protector is cracked again. So I decided to pull out my brand new trusty Paperlike 2.1 screen protector because they are kindly sponsoring today's video. So I have the bundle which includes the two screen protectors, two Apple pencil grips. These things are amazing. They still charge with the grip on, which is really cool. And also a cleaner spray. I'll be honest, I have known about this product for years. This is it. Paperlike has been popular in the digital art space community for years. And I hadn't even tried it until recently because I did not quite realize just how unbelievable it really no is. more glare from my glass screen protectors, no stupid scratchy sound, no slipping on the surface. It's just amazing. Paperlike is perfect for anyone who has an iPad and likes to write or draw. The Paperlike 2.1 screen protector is newly released. It's the feeling of drawing on paper, but it's actually your screen. Paperlike 2.1 has even better visibility than Paperlike 2.0 and the clarity of this. still keeping the same texture and feel that they are famous for in all of their previous versions. The secret behind these screen protectors is their nano dots. They are small microbeads that are uniformly arranged across the surface of the screen protector. Thickness and placement both play a major role in minimizing that light refraction so there's no glare. Also ensuring that the image you use is crisp and clear. In Paperlike 2.1, the nano dots layer is spread more evenly across the surface of the screen protector in order to further minimize refraction. Paperlike 2.1 uses new material composites that allow for the most accurate distribution of nano dots technology to date. This new material was developed in partnership with their new Swiss-based manufacturing partner. Oh, listen to that sound. As a result of these new composites, Paperlike 2.1 is even more transparent, so it's easier to see what you're working on while writing and drawing. The clarity is amazing, and it is expert backed in the development process. If you would like to get one for yourself, check out the link in the description. Thank you so much to Paperlike for sponsoring today's video. So I just wanted a loose sketch of how this would be set up. The scene my boyfriend had mentioned to me is from his favorite game called God of War and it's a horizontal image. But since we're both in agreement that the PS5 looks way cooler upright, I needed to crop the image and center the whole thing on the vertical panel. So basically I was cropping a horizontal picture to a vertical one. So this was the most wonderful, fun, not painful at all part, using sandpaper. Ugh. I hated every second of this. Taking a lovely panel. As you can see, I thoroughly enjoyed this. The reason I did this was to create some texture and tooth, you know, some grip to the surface so the paint wouldn't just scratch or peel off. 
I then finished it off with a nice coat of clear gesso, which for some reason had a bunch of chunks in it. I didn't really need to use clear gesso. I could have just as easily used white gesso, but whatever, this is fine. Hold on, don't freak out. I know this looks bad. I'm trying something out I've seen my friend Mira do before and a couple of other people where they put like a burnt sienna kind of paint color down. So if there are any gaps in the actual painting, it won't look so stark with the white canvas popping through. In the end, honestly, I didn't even need to do this, but it was basically just a second layer of base paint that was brown. And we all know how impatient I am, so here is my fan in a desperate attempt to dry it quicker so I can stop it looking, well, we all know what it looks like, I'm not gonna say it. I used a Posca to do a loose sketch over the top once it had dried, and I then went straight in with the sky. If any of you have ever seen my regular acrylic paintings, you'll know that the theme of my style is using a lot of blues and greens. So I was really excited to actually do this because it had so many blues in the original that making it more my style and using some more blues and greens was just like, it was a dream of a painting to paint, basically. So my way of painting a mountain is a bit all over the place. It's not Bob Ross, let me tell you that, where he just like scrapes a shape and then scrapes another shape and then it's like a perfect beautiful mountain. For me, where I paint a mountain, it won't really look like a mountain until I'm closer to being done. And while this looks like it could be a Bob Ross painting on the side, it is not a Bob Ross painting. Painting a mountain is really hard. Bob makes it look so easy, but when you're doing it without oil paints or a palette knife, you're pretty much just left figuring things out by putting a blob and then another blob and then another shape of blob and just keep doing it over and over and redoing it until you're happy with it. For me, it took me about, I don't know, like 10 hours. I wish I was joking. This did take me about at least 10 to 12 hours, if not longer. I didn't really count. All I know is I sat there and then five hours later I'm like oh I'm still sat here and it's still knowing it done so I'm gonna go with 10 hours. Where did that even come from? How the, what the, why did it, it was over there, what the heck? <laughs> So I really just wanted to focus on the main parts before I did the details, but again, I am impatient. I use my fan repeatedly, so I did add detail to certain parts of the painting before anything else was remotely close to being done. So instead of just doing kind of like a loose spit all over and then adding detail all over at the same time, I'm just like, oh, I've done a loose bit here, let's make it detailed. The rest of it looks crap and I've barely touched it, but that's fine. Let's make the other part look more detailed because then I feel less bad about it being in the ugly stage for so long. Because when I'm painting and it's in the ugly stage, the only thing that makes me feel better and continue to paint is when I make some parts of it look half decent. So it's not in the ugly stage quite as long.
Okay, so clouds in particular, they are not the easiest with acrylic paint, especially when the sky is already dry. This is why when you paint clouds, if you use oil paints, it's going to be a lot easier. And this painting, the whole painting basically, had clouds and mist or fog everywhere. So my style, which is more sharp edged, was definitely challenged to its limits on this one. I, you know, I had to make it look like actual fog versus just a total scribbly mess, which it did for at least a couple of hours. It required a lot of layers, a lot of patience. Here's me now painting the bottom half, not that you can see it, of course, because it's off camera. I added a little bit of detail to the water, which was fun. I don't paint water a huge amount, but this was a lot of fun because there were a lot of contrasting colors in there. There was also this little dome thing that looks like a half sunken Epcot ball for some reason. I have no idea what it is. I added some detail off camera, gave it a bit more pizzazz, added the trees. And at the end, I signed it, not that you can see it again. And now here it is, it's all complete. It's time to show my boyfriend. I'm excited. I'm very excited for you to see it. I you hope know. that you like it. I mean, you know what it basically is though, don't yeah, you? I have an idea. I didn't want to paint something that he wouldn't want on the PS5 because it's a PS5. Right. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready, yep. Okay, go try this. Okay, open. Whoa, look at that. It looks better oh from my a gosh. distance though. That looks like, awesome. Like from back there. Wow, that is sweet. Oh, it's got the realm towers too. Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks awesome. Yeah, I'll oh, this is it. This is great. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. I love it. I gotta, I gotta like this, you know, find a sp uh, spot to display it. This is great. Oh, you even signed it too. I signed it. I know you'd ask me to. I, I would absolutely <laughs> ask you to sign it. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This is great. I hope that you like it. It looks way better from like if I put it back here. Looks yeah. really, really nice. Thank you so much. Is it this like what great. you expected? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It took me like ten hours, something like that. Well, you even you did a great job with the clouds too. That, that's they look hard. really real. I know. And like the water too, the waterfall and everything. Yeah, it was very hard because there's some parts of the mountain that were very hard edged and then parts that were like clouds and mist and fog and stuff. So trying to get it to be like smooth, but also mm. sharp was very difficult. I could never do this even if I spent like 10 years of my life going to art school and everything. <laughs> you did a really good job. Thank you. It looks, looks better than I could ever have imagined. Aw, I'm glad you like it. Absolutely. Well, I'll paint the other side another time. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below if you want to see me paint the other side. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.